if you're a lady and down there smells like fish even you you cannot handle the smell the odor that's coming from down there come grab a seat let me help you today hey everyone welcome back to another episode of health corner if you're new here i'm dr nindy shalom and i bring to you health tea i bring it to you fresh so you can make better health choices every single day if this is content that you like to see often please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video so you don't miss any updates that come from us without further ado let's get right into it so if you're watching this video right now and you've noticed that there is an abnormal discharge from down there and it smells like fish it has this smell that is really really irritating and pungent and you don't know what is happening and you're also kind of feeling some kind of discomfort down there you might have what we call bacterial vaginosis and hey before you panic let me explain it to you what you need to understand is that the vagina has what we call good bacteria there's bacteria in there that help maintain the ph of the vagina and these bacteria also help to secrete what we call lactic acid yes you heard me lactic acid the vagina is acidic and it's acidic like this for a reason to fight infection to fight germs so that you know nothing can just easily go in there and cause an infection right that is why the vagina is acidic so there's a lot of bacteria in the vagina and they're doing just fine they're living in perfect harmony perfect unity no worries but if something happens that causes this normalcy or this perfect harmony that is going on down there to be disrupted it causes these bacteria to grow more than they're supposed to grow so there are different kinds of bacteria so this one is growing more this one is growing more and then now it starts to cause problems this is what we call bacterial vaginosis and don't worry it is not a sexually transmitted infection it's just something that happens to women at different phases of their lives and also if you have certain risk factors some of these risk factors include having multiple sexual partners these my ladies that today are sleeping with John, tomorrow you are with Theophilus, tomorrow you are with some other person. This greatly increases your risk of having these kind of infections. For women who like women to women relationships, these are some of the kind of things that increase your risk. If you're also involved in oral sex, it increases your risk of having bacterial vaginosis. If you love to douche, douching is you insert something into the vagina to kind of wash it i don't know what is wrong with people i don't know what you're trying to prove leave that girl down there alone <laughs> she is fine she is very much capable of cleaning herself she does not need your help you don't have to insert things to clean to make sure that it smells good no leave it alone because doing this interrupts the natural flora of bacteria down there and it causes problems so if you can avoid these things avoid them another thing is if you're wearing an intrauterine device it might be for contraception or whatever reason you're wearing that it could increase your risk if you're somebody as well who loves to have intercourse during menstruation it increases your risk of having this infection also if you started having intercourse or sex at an early age it increases your risk of having bacterial vaginosis so what are some of the symptoms of bacterial vaginosis so what are some of the symptoms of this infection number one you notice that the discharge from down there has this foul fishy kind of smell that is really uncomfortable and irritating the second thing you may notice is the discharge that you're having may be like greenish, whitish or yellowish discharge. It's very fluid and liquid, right? This is a change because that's not normally how vaginal discharge looks like. The third thing is that you may experience itching. You may also experience discomfort down there. You're not really comfortable because, you know, there is a lot going on. And finally, you can experience this burning sensation during urination. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you might have bacterial vaginosis. How do you prevent this infection? Number one, 
avoid douching avoid inserting things that are not supposed to be inserted into the vagina leave that girl alone okay the second thing is wash the vagina with water you don't need soap you don't you don't need strong uh, uh, stuff i don't know the things women use but it's crazy these days just wash with clean water you can wash the outside areas with soap but the vagina you wash with water the third way to prevent this infection is to avoid using scented products avoid using scented pads avoid using scented tampons there are even women who use essential oils to spray on their underwears or I, I don't even just get it avoid using these things and finally practice safe sex avoid sexual promiscuity today you're with a tomorrow you're with b avoid it all right and even if you cannot resist being promiscuous use a condom protect yourself don't just expose yourself out there you know like that take certain measures for your own safety i know that most of you are going to be asking or saying hey dog i feel like i have this infection what do i do i normally don't do this but i'm going to do you guys a solid today if you feel like you're experiencing these symptoms we usually treat this with metronidazole 500 milligrams you're going to take one tablet two times daily for seven days if you have access to these medications that's fine if you don't have access talk to your doctor and they should be able to prescribe something that should work for you i really hope you guys found this video helpful i hope you're able to learn a thing or two if you have some questions leave them down in the comment section i'm going to respond to them as quickly as i can please share this video like and subscribe to my channel if you've not done that yet thank you guys so much for coming along with me today i'll see you in my next episode Bye-bye.